remains to be seen how effective this coordinated, if highly nuanced, attack on the cultism would be. The Limits of Enlightenment and Hitler's Magicians Controversy, 1937-41 On January 14, 1941, the professional debunker Albert Stockhagen received a terse letter from the president of the Reich Magicians Association, Helmut Schreiber. According to Schreiber, Stadthagen and his Nazi associate, the police commissar Karl Peltz, were undermining illusionists everywhere by publicly demonstrating the scientific basis of magic. Insisting that such performances contradicted a point of view expressed at the highest level, Schreiber advised Stadthagen and Peltz to follow up with the Fuhrer's adjutant, Herr SS Gruppenführer Schaub, should they have any doubt about what that meant. Within two weeks of Schreiber's letter, Peltz received a direct order from the Gestapo to cease his campaign of public enlightenment. As a good national socialist, Peltz turned to his most frequent sponsor, the Strength through joy, Kraft durch Freude, or KEF division of the German Labor Front, Deutsche Arbeiterfront, or DAF, headed by Dr. Robert Bly. The KDF found Peltz and Stadthagen's presentations as entertaining as they were enlightening, employing the debunkers to perform occult based demonstrations before explaining the science behind the supernatural. Except when the KDF dutifully protested the ban, the Gestapo officials responded.